Higgins? Hey, um, about that multi-million dollar deal, I, uh, I, I, I can't leave Zach. It's, it's, it's kind of a friend thing, so I mean, I, I appreciate the offer, but I'm, I'm gonna have to cancel. I, uh, sorry buddy. See ya. Oh, dick. Oh, hey guys. Um, Zach will be here soon. Just, I, I, I swear he's gonna be here soon. There's... Hey, buddy. What's up, buddy? What's going on? I saw you on the phone. What was how, that about? How did you see me on the phone? I... You're watching through windows now? No, I came down the stairs. To watch through windows? No, why would I watch down windows? Uh, it was nothing. Don't worry about it. What was the phone call about? Don't worry about why it. Why not? Because it's, it's Wednesday. Well, this is just don't distract me with comic book mania. Oh my god. <laughs> comic book we, mania. We already had the title though. We did? Okay, okay, whatever. Yeah. We'll just send this out. Um, hi guys. Hi. We're back for a uh, comic book mania episode three. I didn't think we were gonna get this far. I didn't think we'd no, be on the air. Good feedback. Yeah, I know, good. A lot of people like us. Yeah. I like what we do it every I'm wearing a Pokemon shirt. This is awesome. You're wearing, wearing Aperture Laboratory. Two jacket. It's awesome. With a Spider Man shirt underneath. Oh, we are nerded out today. Yes. Alright. So let's start with Marvel and DC News. Can you add something no. there? Why not? Because I'm not that good. Just add a title, something. Just add something in there. Okay. All right. Just All right. I'll something. Put, I'll put something. You, in there. I like your thanks, guys, at the end of the videos, <laughs> but, but whatever. Okay. So I actually did research yeah. last night to. Um, yeah, because this week we don't have any movies to introduce. Yeah, it's just a lot of news. So we'll talk about Marvel because Marvel has only one piece of news that I could find really? this week. Yeah, everything else is DC. All right, well. So side. Marvel is trying to sue Google over trailer leaks, which means... Oh, I did hear about that. Yeah, so Marvel is now trying to find the root of the problem, and I think Google is the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. But I think it'll be interesting. We're, we'll keep you updated on that. Um, and then we'll go to the lower tier. I don't even know how to spell his last name, as you can tell. I didn't know how to spell That's not it at all. I know. Uh, Matthew McConaughey and LL Cool J have voted interest in becoming superheroes. So is... Oh, uh, wait, no. There was who was the other actor? It was like two weeks ago. Which one? An actor about? that hasn't been a superhero yet wanted to be one. Probably Emma. Emma no, Elk, it was someone two, I can't remember. Well, if anyone knows, put it in the comments. Yeah. For me, um, so yeah. Uh, any thoughts? Who would you who would you recommend them to be? Oh, Matthew McConaughey. Maybe L. Cool J's um, uh, Green Lantern. Who? Uh, John. Yeah. Maybe is, I would rather see the black the guy, Green Lantern. Maybe. Uh, maybe. I'm um, trying I, to think because Matthew McConaughey. He, he could be a superhero. Oh, yeah, definitely. I love but him. He's awesome. Who all right, all is right, the thing? All right. I mean, Marvel I mean, or DC? What would you put him as? Hmm. That's interesting. I would say DC for... I don't know. Marvel, maybe. No, for Maybe it's Doctor Strange. No. Really? Who do you want? Do you want Benedict to come back? All Doctor right, Strange? so what we're going to do... <laughs> he could change it up a little no, bit. No, he couldn't. He could. He has the same voice in every movie. He does. <laughs> You're right. But yeah, uh, Matthew... Probably DC. I, I have Marvel. to save the planet. So who would we play on DC? Uh, that's a tough one, cause but there is Martian Martian Manhunter. No, God, he's a no. he's a weird enough character to play Martian Manhunter. I think <laughs> he's too stupid. <laughs> Jean is a genius. So who would you put him as? I, like a lesser known DC yeah. comics hero that they could probably pull off. Like throw him somewhere in like the Justice League movie. Okay, all right. Like Plastic Man. Plastic. <laughs> That'd be awesome to see Matthew McConaughey as Plastic Man. Or you could have him at, not as a superhero, but maybe one of the major DC characters that isn't a superhero. Oh, okay. Or a villain even. He could play a villain. Like, similar to, and I'm not saying Matthew McCona McConaughey played this person, Vicky Vale. How yeah. It's not a superhero. They want to make him a male version of Vicky Vale. I'm, I'm all for it. We call him Vic Vale. <laughs> it's Vic easy for Male. Vic Male. Okay. So, yeah, um, that's... And LL Cool J, I have no clue. I don't... He'd I, have to be a superhero. I don't think he could play a good a bad guy. I might Spawn. be wrong. Spawn. Ooh, that's a good choice. I like that. He might be able to pull off a good Spawn. I would like that. I agree with that. That's a good one. Okay. So... Well, we just go up the list. Um, the Rock has said that Shazam will be independent from other DC movies. What does that mean? The full he's not going to connect with other DC oh, movies. He's, it's going to all connect eventually. So ma maybe he's multiverse? just he's just trying to throw everybody off his tail. Mm -hmm. But he also said that it's going to be a fun movie, mm -hmm. which we kind of need in this dark age of superhero movies. But I think it's I think it's uh, kind of interesting. I think he's just trying to throw us off everybody's tail. Maybe, um, I don't know. I mean, I think he's going to be a good Black Adam. I think so, too. I think he's going to be great. I thought better Shazam, but we've already talked about that. Yes. Um, Anne, Th Anne Hathaway has stated she wants to make cameo roles. She would like to in DC movies as I Catwoman. Think, I don't think she should. I think they should pick another Catwoman. I liked her in the Christopher Nolan trilogy. Speaking, well, of, only one speaking of her, though, there is something that you don't have on the list that I'm, I'm going to bring up now. You can bring it up. Um, Christian Bale is actually excited to see Ben Affleck 
as Batman. And Christopher Nolan is too. Yes, yeah. they both they, are actually they, anticipating it. Uh, Christopher Nolan said he'll be first in line to see Batman as ba uh, yeah. Batman. Which I Bat think Fleck is, as Batman? Bat Fleck as Batman. <laughs> um, I, I think he's going to do great. Uh, John Berthal, who also known as Shane from The Walking Dead, yes. has reportedly who been offered the role. Who was also on Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, he was awesome. Uh, there's actually one more person that's on Wolf of Wall Street that actually just got yes. casted. But, but he want, he's up for Deadshot, which I think he'll do great. Oh, yeah. For those awesome. that don't know who Deadshot is, he's a member of the Suicide Squad. Yeah. Um, look him up. He's pretty cool. I think he would play. He's great on Arrow. Oh yeah. Oh, he's the guy awesome. That got he's, the pick. Yeah, he's, he's outstanding. Awesome. Even though I would like him to play, but John Berthold would be great. And then going into another casting call, who just got reportedly cast as Harley Quinn, which you didn't think was going to happen. You didn't think Harley Quinn was going to be in it. I didn't. Uh, Margie, uh, Margot, Margot Robbie from Wolf of Wall Street as well. She plays Leonardo DiCaprio, Leonardo DiCaprio's wife in the movie. Yes. As uh, is going to be Harley Quinn, which I think is a great. Well, she was great in the movie, mm -hmm. so she's going to be great. Um. There's going to be, uh, apparently a female director has been given the honors to direct the Wonder Woman movie. Which oh, I think okay. is awesome. Um, I'm going to step off screen for a little bit. You can just keep talking. Okay. You forgot to do something. What did I forget to do? Oh, that. <laughs> we didn't need to see ourselves. That's we need to see the time. Um, yeah, it's true because it goes out in 23 minutes. Um, Batman vs. Superman I'm teaser back. trailer, which I'm really excited for, even though I think no, it's no, going to be it's, terrible. Isn't it a trailer of a trailer? It's a t it's a trailer for a teaser trailer, yeah, basically. Yeah. For so Batman vs Superman before Hobbit, which I'm gonna go. It basically see. means nothing. Which means yeah. Oh, what the the Avengers it's one. I can guarantee you what it's gonna be. It's gonna be that. Is it gonna be the Comic Con trailer? No, no, no it's gonna yeah with the Batman and yeah, the and Superman standing okay. each other. They've already played that. Trailer. And he's got the white eyes, yeah. and then Superman's like, hey, "What's up, man?" He's got the heat. Yeah, he's got the white. Uh, Batman's got the uh, white, uh, eyes. white eyes, and he's got the uh, the bat suit from Dark Knight Returns on, hmm. which is like the one that beats the shit out of uh, Superman in the comic books, which. Great comic, by the way, if anybody hasn't read it. Yes. Read it. Um, so the last one, which I'm really excited for, who I think is going to do a fantastic job as Joker if he gets picked. Jared Leto is reportedly up for the role of Joker in the Suicide Squad movie and possibly other DC movies. If he goes up against Batman in, in the new Batman movie, I would love it. I think Jared Leto is a fantastic actor. Also a great rocker in 30 Seconds to Mars. Yeah. I think he's great. And uh, what are you, any opinions on that? I mean, Jared Leto... He's more Jesus than anything, but... <laughs> I think... He, if I he want, gets rid of the beard with, with, and cuts his hair... He could have been a good Riddler, too. I think he could do any any DC villain if he wants to. If he wants to. Yeah, but I think he'll be a great Joker if he does end up... I wanted Johnny Depp to play Joker. That would have been per, outstanding. Personally, I just wanted Johnny Depp, because he can do any role. He can. Even though I don't no. like... What are you talking about? I know who Johnny Depp should play. Oh. He already played the character. In a DC movie? Not in a DC movie, but it is a DC character. Which one? The Mad Hatter. He did play the Mad Hatter, but he's, he's already played. And he him. did. He, he did, did amazing. He did great. I didn't movie. like the movie. It was a great part. Oh, no, the movie. Was I don't like most of his movies, but I've never said he's never done a great job at it. Oh, he's so, outstanding. That is Marvel and DC One of my news. Actors. Oh, he's great. He's amazing. Um, that is Marvel and DC news. Yes. At this point, if you do not want to know show spoilers, click off this video. Thank you for watching. We'll be back next week for more DC and Marvel news. Um, you're just opening zippers and closing them. I'm just. Um, subscribe, comment. A little man in my Thank pocket. you guys for watching. Do you know what he's saying? What is he saying? Thank you guys <laughs> for watching. But get the hell out now. And we're going to be talking about... That was racist. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be talking about show spoilers, so if you don't want to know really anything, racist. you haven't watched it already, suffocate them. you can click off this video and go watch it and come back and watch them again. Yeah. So let's start with Gotham, which is the beginning of the week. We always end up with... Uh, we had that argument last week. Walking Dead's the last show we talked about because it just happened yesterday. Um, Gotham. Gotham was great. It's the best episode so far. Yeah. Everyone um, said that the week episode before that was the best episode. And then this, it's getting better, thankfully. Yes. Um, uh, we met Victor's as. Oh, I love him. He's, he's so much better than, than he was in the, as The Mist. Even though he's good. He's well, so much better as Victor's as. So, I love him. Some There was a group on Facebook that I follow, and they actually posted a thing, and it said, who would win a fight? Um... Kyle Nimbus or Victor Zaz. Zaz right. And it's both of them. It's oh. It's him as both the oh, characters. okay. That's awesome. And but um, he is he the he's perfect outstanding. Zaz. I, if I wanted anybody to play Zaz, I don't think anybody Anthony else Carrier. could. Anthony Carrier. Great guy. I, I did not know he could do that well. His, his, his Just Zaz as a character, I was looking forward to somebody yeah, being yeah. a villain. Even One of the best scenes in the episode is, is when, when he's cutting. Well, that and when he goes in the police station and. He's like, he's, pretty please. No, and then he <laughs> goes, great. Gordon. Gordon, come out! And then he gets on the table, and, and then, then he, he just shouts for him. Well, no, and then he goes, um... Then Gordon was like, there's at least 50 police officers in here that aren't afraid to do their job. And he goes, can everyone please leave? 
<laughs> Brady, please! It's just and then everyone psychotic, gets up and leaves. And it's great. And he goes, and Thank one of the like like Gordon's having trouble getting people on his side. Exactly. And what I liked was the police captain actually was just like, okay, if this shit's happening now, this shit's getting real. I have to stand by my guy. Uh -huh. And it was awesome. And Harvey, they have their fight in the beginning. Harvey beats the, almost beats the shit out of him, which I thought was great. And then Harvey joins him up in the episode, which I thought brought it full circle. And he was ready to die for Gordon. Exactly. Because he thinks he sees a little of himself in Gordon when he used to be uh, just like just like him. Um, and then, um, what's her name? Gordon's fiance. Barbara. Barbara. Barbara got taken. Taken by Don Falcone. She was supposed to be leaving. <clears throat> they they trying to escape, idiot. but she was an idiot. She came back. Yeah. But it actually saved him. It saved Gordon from being killed. Yes. And it leads Don Falcone to the reveal of this episode, which is Cobblepot's playing everyone, and it's amazing. Yeah. Cobblepot basically... He's working for Don Falcone, working for... Um, Sal Maroney. Sal Maroney, yeah. thank you. I couldn't remember He his name. basically... In the, they show, working for Gordon. He's working for... He's working everybody in the show, and I love it. He basically... They show a flashback at the end of the episode where... They're about to kill off Penguin from the first episode, and he's like... Well, it was due to the fact that he... Stitched out with yeah. Mo Mooney. So, basically, um, he makes Don Falcone a deal. He's like, let Gordon um, let Gordon be the one to try to kill me, and if he doesn't, I will go through Maroney's ranks, and I will make everybody think that we're pl um, that I'm working for Maroney. Oh, when he killed... Um Maroney's like right hand man. Oh, the, uh, the 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 not not oh oh the uh, the guy when that's they, been messing with them. Yeah, for when weeks. they killed the Russians. Oh my god! And then he was like, he's um, like, you your guys, one week. That monologue was great. He was and like, you have one pot. weakness. It's money. And then he snapped his fingers, and the guys next to him, who were his bodyguards, grabbed him. And they and, and they, they were like, uh, Penguin was like, you pay your men too cheap. All I had to do was offer them Paris, a little extra and it was money. Great. And they would do whatever I said. And Falcone has been in on it since the beginning. And then he beginning. slowly killed oh, him. It was my, it, this, the whole Joker theory is kind of getting a little more weight. Oh, yeah. Because how he's killing people, he's like joking around with them. Oh, yeah. And I think uh, Robin well, Lord introduced his pet is Umbrella. Oh, it was great. It was great. It looked you, just like how you, you see it at to. the You see it at the end of the episode when he's going to Falcone's uh, house. The rain looked weird. Was it just me or did... It was fake rain. I think it was a real It looked rain. really weird yeah, going off. But that Falcone, was the one problem I had Falcone like, is becoming like... Like really a better character because of the fact that he knows every. I think we kind of have an I I idea he knew everything since the beginning. Oh yeah, but we didn't know to this extent where Falcone and and, and Cobblepot are together. Well, there's one thing he doesn't know. That Cobblepot's playing him. No, not well, what? not just that. Okay, what is it? That Fish Mooney hired that woman. Oh yeah, because uh, he doesn't even know. Exactly. Cobblepot has, uh, Cobblepot because it was after know. Cobblepot yeah. left. And he didn't. He doesn't know. So you have. Fish Mooney kind of ahead of Falcone, but also kind of a couple steps back. Well, because she just lost Nikolai. Yeah, who who was they were in cahoots to fight Don Falcone, and it, it, Falcone has this great scene with Maroney when they're on the pier and they hug and they're hugged and he's too like, much bloodshed and Falcone's like I, he was a son to me and you can see like at the end of the episode you can see now like he was playing it perfectly like oh yeah. He's got to be somewhat, and then Mooney's just like, I'm screwed. And then she says this great line when she slaps uh, Kyle Pot in the episode. She just scale, grabs his face. You scaly little bitch. And I was like, leading up to him becoming the Penguin, and it's great. But it's, out, outstanding episode. Pff, it's great villain they have this week already. Kyle Pot's on top of everyone. Um, um, next week is... Which is ten, uh, two, two, two nights days ago. Now, two days ago. Which will bring in Black Mask. Yes. So hopefully next and week. And for the comic book fans, he's another big mob boss, basically. Oh, yeah. um, we have to announce something before we go on. Um, all the shows are ending. Uh, oh, yes. Mid-season finale. So we're going to actually have a mid-season finale of the comic book mania. And then when they come back on, we'll continue until everyone goes off the air. And we'll have our finale for the season. Yes. So this show will be like a season show and everything. Yeah. So, so yeah. Um, Gotham was great. I love the episode. I don't really have maybe any we'll complaints. Maybe we'll bring something new in. Yeah, we'll bring in a Wednesday show. Something okay. new. Um, review show Gotham was outstanding. Yeah. Tuesday, nothing. Oh, Flash we miss you, Flash. But uh, with, with Flash being gone, everything stepped up. Oh yeah. Every show stepped up, and I love that. I love that every show stepped up their game. I really did miss Flash, though. I did too. I felt you... Well, no, no, no. Because personally, <laughs> I um, because I normally record everything, yeah. and then I watch it like afterwards. Because normally I'm either out or doing something else yeah. and not paying attention. And I was like, oh, it's Tuesday. Flash is on tonight. Crap. And I was like, yes. <laughs> Sat down, hit. The list button, and I was like, Where? "Remember how sad you were Where? last week when I, when I like, told you Flash was gonna be off for a week? But yes, it's coming back, which will be tomorrow, the last yesterday. Night. Yeah, and then you guys can bring um, some comments for it. Yeah, it's introducing Plastique. I can't wait. For if you let know who that is, 
It's, 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 we'll geez. get more Cat and Cold in uh, Heat Wave, hopefully. In this we episode. are. They're showing Heat Wave. Okay, good. He looks just like um, who's the tag team in Ring of Honor? The Red Dragon. Oh, Bobby, oh, Bobby, Bobby Fish. Fish and that's what he looks Kyle like. Yeah, he does. Yeah. But um, that's a little. That's a little wrestling reference. Maybe we'll make that a Wednesday show. We'll see. Or video game, something we'll like that. Um, uh, so Wednesday, Arrow, another great episode. Outstanding episode. Oh my god. Um, Arrow's on top of its game right now, which I love. Yeah, I I felt smart in this episode because <laughs> I knew a lot. What about the what the Big Brother thing and the everything? The Big Brother yeah. thing, the Omax. It, the, 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 the villain was predictable, of course. Well, yeah, how they were like, oh, it's but Co Cooper's been dead. <laughs> the synopsis episode is it's Felicity's past coming back to haunt her. It was a great episode. It was great. Oh, Felicity stepped up her game this week and it was great. Did you notice the shirt Cooper had on? It was um one of the villains, uh, Star... Star. I can't remember its name, they, but it's basically a starfish down. and an octopus put together with an eye. And he's one of the, uh, he's he, the, one of the first Justice League's uh, yes. biggest villains. Yes. So. It, um, just an outstanding... She actually, her goth phase looks like, uh, somebody pointed this out to me, uh, Death from mm -hmm. one of the Sandman comics. Yes. Which I, I gotta check out. I heard those, those are fantastic. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, the virus she created is coming back to haunt her. Computer virus. It, the Big Brother, which got introduced this, this episode. No, which... it's not Big Brother. It's Brother Eye. Brother Eye, Brother Eye, I'm sorry. But Big, they're kind of the same thing. No, it's not. Brother Eye is the government watching over no, you it's in not. the future. Big it, Brother yeah. is the... Uh... Well, yeah, it's, it's the, it's the equivalent. Brother Eye it. is not the watch, it does not watch anyone. Brother Eye kills everyone. Because he's watching them. <laughs> I'm just messing with But yeah, Brother Eye got introduced this, this episode, which kind of pissed a lot of people off because he's a much bigger thing in the comic books. Yes. Um, but um, Arrow took a back seat to this episode, which I, a lot of people actually took a back seat to Felicity's kind of art. Diggle did. Diggle, I feel like, is going to be killed off this season. Oh, he better not. He's oh. going to. He's, I might he's, cry. I, will, I probably will cry because he's the best character. He's one of the best characters on the show. Now Ro Roy's getting a lot more to do now at oh, the end of the episode. The end of the episode where he was saying how he hasn't been sleeping yeah. well. And then they show his dream, and they show Sarah, and she's like, "Who? Wh what are you doing here?" And, you, and he's he just grabs the arrow and launches it. So in. it's basically saying Roy might have killed Sarah. But what throws me off about that? He doesn't have the meaty kuru anymore. So I thought he, he still no, does. Because remember, they gave him the shot. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And so, how would he be able to throw it? But he's still got that... the strength of the meaty kuru. No, he doesn't. He kind of does. He's he, he's trained by the arrow. It's very. He weird. just has the fighting they never really skills. Explain of, that. But so they're, they're, it's the, they're leading up to thinking that Roy might have killed Sarah. I yes. don't think it's true. I don't think she. I still think it's. You still think it's Thea. I do. I think it's Ra's al Ghul that killed someone from Ra's al Ghul's group. Had, uh, the League of Assassins had killed. It Tara. wasn't Nessa. It wasn't Nessa. Oh, that'd be a cool plot twist, though. To I, prove to her father that I'd be mad. I, it'd be cop out because they they loved each other. You could see they loved each oh, other. Yeah. She when she came back for uh, two episodes ago, it was it was a nice sweet moment. Oh yeah, um, but I mean. So nobody thinks Malcolm Marla killed her? No. Okay, so we, you but you think it leads to Thea killing her? Yes. For Malcolm? Maybe for Malcolm okay. or for her own for herself, what trying was she, to get into the League of Shadows. So she's trying to... Uh, trying to make a name for herself. Is she, you think that leads to her getting away from Malcolm? Well, getting away from Malcolm, getting away from Ollie. Okay, so she's going to go off on her own. Which, by the way, at the end, that cute little scene between them, <laughs> where they're eating popcorn and... Yeah. It was that big ass bag and he, of popcorn. And then he was like, "You told me I have to bring my half. This is me showing my half." So basically, her plot of the episode was she's she's she finally reveals to Ollie that she's been using Malcolm's money to fund just his money, just his money to fund the nightclub being brought back and her buying that huge ass house or apartment, whatever it was. I don't know what it is. It's like an art studio. <laughs> really big art studio. It's humongous. And then she offered Ali to live with her and everything. And he's going to. And he's going to, which I think is sweet. It's, she was it's like, going to backfire on She was like, the queens have to stay together. Yeah. I was like, it's going to backfire. It's, something, it's leading up to something this season. I don't know what. I'm glad I don't know what, because I want to be surprised. Oh, yeah. but, Just um, like last season, how... But you kind of knew Slade was coming in. Well, no, no, everyone knew. But you didn't know what he was going to do. Exactly. When he kills his mother last season... The blew me out of the wall. Oh, that was uh, outstanding. Great. D Stephen Amell has actually said that this is going to annihilate season two. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's going to happen. The, the The first couple episodes have been better than the first couple episodes of season two. I don't know where they're going for the rest of season three, but I will gladly keep watching because oh, yeah. I love this show. Definitely. Then we lead up to Constantine the Demon I, Killer. This is a great episode. I love the show. I, I think... This is the episode that finally got me into it. Like, okay, I'm invested finally. Yeah, they, first episodes were good, not just not great, but this episode. They introduced basically their first actual villain of the season. Well, not just actual villain, like the first 
um, how Constantine has now got his back to the wall. Yeah. And he needs Zed and Chaz. Yes. Zed is so much better than the first girl. I'm oh, so yeah. glad they got her out of there and brought in Zed. She's oh, so yeah. cool. Um, but this episode is basically... The um, opening scene. Yeah. When she pulls <laughs> up and he's like, how did you find us? And she goes, well... I drew the picture. The draw. I drew the picture. And then, and then Constantine's in his house just like... He's learning a new spell. And he's naked with blood on He's him. covered in blood, <laughs> dancing to like Green Day or something. That was great. I, the comedy of the no, show... No, it was um, Jimmy Eats World. Yeah. The comedy of the show is fantastic. Oh, yeah. I think it's and great. And then... Um, it's a ki- it's the episode of the killer record. <laughs> it was killer vinyl record. I would never have thought that a show oh, would make me scared. When he stabbed, oh yeah, oh, stabbed the screwdriver. The guy stabs oh. himself in the ear with a screwdriver to stop the voices. I don't I don't know how this record works, but it's making things freeze because there's the voice is on it. Yeah, it's the it demon was voice recorded yeah. into it. So why do they freeze though? I don't I don't because get that it, part. it's it's chilly. It's, okay, it's scary. That's why it's scared of hell, basically. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So then, it, like, and that's how they get you. That with, ending scene. I with loved Papa it. Oh my god! Well, let's talk about Papa Midnight. Okay, for a while. great. Oh Papa my Midnight. god! The guy that got to play him. He's a, a hypnotist. Oh, he's fantastic. Um, he's was, a big villain in I the comics, right? I was expecting him to have. Did you, have you read the comics? I'm not a big Constantine comic fan, but well, I've heard he's a big villain yes. in the comics. I, I do like that. Uh, I the one thing I didn't like actually. Hmm. I was expecting him to have like a nori nor that yeah, New Orleans accent. He's got a because he's more. Is it's it African. British? It's African. It's African. Okay. Yeah. You can tell by some of the words he says, but it's just, like, that's what threw me off, because voodoo is more down south with, like, witch doctors and stuff like that, and that's why I was, like, African? Well, they have a lot of voodoo uh, witch doctors in Africa. Do they? Yeah, it's I like, expect it's that a to, big place for voodoo. Well, I expect witch that doctors. to be, like, Haiti, Bahamas. Yeah, it's, those, Afri- it's Africa. Those islands are not near Africa. Where is it? Is it South America? Yes. Okay. Well, it's kind of near Africa. Whatever, no, it's whatever. not! Well, uh, uh, he could be from Haiti. That, that, but that he accent. has the African accent. Like, uh, it's it's kind of French too. It's French, uh, African. It's kind of from Haiti. Uh, so, but um, he basically. I didn't know he was into voodoo. That's what yes. surprised me about the episode uh, at the oh, end. Oh, at the end when they show him burning the uh, Constantine. Constantine. Doll, but he's got um, the blood with him. Papa Midnight basically tricks Constantine into coming to see him, and then that scene him. is my favorite scene of the series. So and far. then he he basically ties him down, gives him a shot that's gonna just it makes it so that he can't stop bleeding. Yeah. And then he cuts his arm and he goes, you're going to... It also stops his powers, too. It was a sedative to stop oh, his powers. Oh, is that what it was? He said it in the episode, it stops okay. his powers. But I think it was cop or something. I don't remember exactly. He, he was very nice about it, too. He was like... <laughs> Here's a gift. I'll give you some pills. Uh, well, he was like, they'll be right here for if the stuff's not there. I'll come back, give you the pills. <laughs> the very sweet part, about it. It, it. From working world... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I can't All right, so basically what happened was... Um, the camera stopped oh, working without brilliant. our knowledge. Jesus. So he usually tells us when we, we stop. Yeah. So, but what Zach was about to say was working from where we work. Uh, the bottle that he gets in the episode, I thought the CVS logo was or Nature Made or whatever brand it was. Yeah. It was going to be on there, which would have been funny. <laughs> um, but then, so wait, we were talking about him laying the best scene. Oh yeah, the and then the homeless guy comes over <laughs> and he's trying to get him to untie him. Yep. And he was like reaching my pocket, and there's that card, and he, which it's witchcrafted, and, and he turns it into a, a, a platinum credit. Well, no, he doesn't turn it into it. It's whatever he the, says uh, that yes, okay. whatever the person Wants that it holds be. it desires it to be, that's what it'll become. Okay, all right. So he was like, take that, and then the guy was like, oh, sweet, and took it. But if you're and alive, then- I can't use it, and he's about to murder Constantine. <laughs> I'm like, end of series. They didn't get good ratings. Okay. And then Zed came over and hit him. She's yeah. like, get out of here, and he's like. <laughs> Meanwhile, he left his cart, by the way. I, I know. I thought he was going to take ja- the jacket and the shoes, which I thought was funny. Um, but, yeah, and then she freed him, and then they had to. They found out that, uh, meanwhile, while that was all going on, the people that took the disc, or the vinyl for uh, Pop at Midnight, yeah. they played it in a... Um, Club. Thank you. I couldn't yeah. think of the name of it. They killed a lot of people. Yes, they killed a lot of people. Because, well, no, no. They the didn't record do it. record killed a lot of people. <laughs> The devil did. The evil record killed. I like how they never say the devil. They don't. They no. say the first fallen one. Yeah, it's it's not. It's implied that. It's oh, devil. and we have to go back because there's actually something important. Which part? When they're talking to Marcus, in the hospital. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay he's yeah, laying yeah. there, and yeah. then he's like, "I know it's my time," and they're like, "Why?" And he goes, "I see an angel right there," and then he starts seizing out, and then uh, Zed goes to run out, and she freezes, and Constantine kind of sits there and goes, <sighs> and turns around and the. I think he's the angel of death. Is it? You think so? Ah, uh, I thought I thought he was. Uh, I don't know. I, he's either just an angel. 
I well, think he's just an angel. He's got to be an important angel. I, he's got to be high up. Because he's work. He's basically working for God at this point. Yeah. yeah. So he's either got to be an arch archangel mm -hmm. or the angel of death. What's his name in the show? I don't remember. Yeah, I forget. But uh, he was there, player. and that's the angel the guy saw, and he took his soul. And it was so. You of... think he's, or he could be the Grim Reaper. No, nah, you don't think so. Different character. Yeah, I can see what you're saying, but Maybe. no, he's not Death. Death could be. Uh, are they considered the same thing? Yes. Grim Reaper and Death in this show. Yeah, I don't know. But um, so there was that scene, and then they found out that the guys were gonna play it during a on a college radio a broadcast. Yeah. So Zed they... sees a white tiger. Yeah, and then and then it brought them to the, the campus, yeah. and then um, so Constantine's like, he puts his headphones in, grabs his MP3 player, starts playing Anarchy. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Oh, is it Anarchy in the UK? Something like that. It's called yeah. And then he just runs in there, and he's about to reach the thing, and one of the girls hits him and pulls his headphones out. And Papa Midnight comes back, gets a shot. Papa Midnight, there. dude, that was amazing. Starts he blowing sits there, the and he's just like. <laughs> Never misses. I love that line. He's like, never misses. And Cassie's like, you probably have a, a, a wall full of those toys at home, don't you? Well, He's no, like, yep. and then it was great because the guys were in the room, and they were like, uh, they locked themselves in the room, and Pop Midnight's like, come on, guys, I, give me Constantine my tape. Constantine starts expelling and the he, No, he didn't expel. Hell. He puts him to hell. It's kind of expelling Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, what he did was he said a spell that basically... Was like, hey, devil, He's like, this he, is yours. He explains, he's Take like, the back. only way we can destroy this is sending it back to hell. Yeah. Which is so, almost cool. And he gave it He gave it to the devil and with the those scene, two guys. And the scene, when, he, when Pop uh, Midnight Pop opens Midnight it up. opens the door, and you can see into hell. I was like, that it is looks, the coolest trick Well, no, you can't see into hell. It's you see the, to the, the path, yeah, the path that he hell. took. Yeah. It's It looks outstanding. Uh, the special effects on the show are really good, which I like. Yeah. And then... That's the end of the episode. Basically, yeah. So let's jump to my favorite. The Walking Dead. So, such a big step better than last week. Like, it brought it back to season five, what it should be. Like, I, li I liked the Beth episode, but it wasn't that good. Yeah. This episode, outstanding. And I like that it was basically how the episode, two episodes ago, was, all right, we're separating. Yeah. Last episode was, Beth story. here's Beth. This episode was, here's everyone they're, else. Let's see what they're on their to. way to D.C., at this point, I, and, I put air quotes on yes. there. Is the big reveal of the episode, but which comic book fans like me and you have been waiting for oh, yeah. for a while. But we gotta talk. We gotta bring we'll, up to that. We'll talk to the episode. So the episode. basically, uh, they're starting out in the truck or the bus, and they crash. And then they have to fight off all these zombies. And Tara uh, confides in uh, in in Eugene in this episode how he's a fighter. He's gotten this far. Yeah, she was. She said, "You're like me." How you don't think you can do it, yeah, but, but you can. But people inspire me and in this group to do it. And then Eugene saved her, actually. Oh, I mean, he didn't kill the zombie. He kind of saved her, though. He stabbed it in the back, and he's like, ah! And then... And then he, like, fell on top of it, and he's like, <laughs> give me my knife. And then he spits on, on the zombie. Yeah, because um, it was kind of like a big F you to yeah. it. Yeah. But, um... And then, you cut, and then they have then flashbacks we were, which I love, with, with Abraham. How it shows Abraham punching a dude in the face with a can of soup. That, that scene and one of the scenes with Rosita in this episode is almost why they got censored yeah. this episode, which I thought was crazy. But, but I could see why they almost got censored. But, like, it shows Abraham punching Beating this guy, ever and then he stops, and he looks at his hands, and walks over and to his wife and his kids, and he's like, All right, it's it's done, C come here, and they, they're, they're crying, and they're, and they're in the corner. So then he, um, then it cuts back, and we're in the library at this point. And they're they're barricading the door. And him and Glenn and was, ha actually have a bonding moment near the window, where oh, they're, ta was, they're talking. I didn't like that you couldn't see anything. It was really it's, it's it was it's a great shot though. It was it's, funny though how they're sitting there, and then he goes to walk into the window, and Abraham's like, "Hold up!" The zombie like <laughs> hits the window, and he's like, <laughs> "And then they talk about how uh, he's thankful that Glenn actually stayed and yes. didn't go away. He could have left when the bus uh, crashed, but he didn't. He stayed with him, and he's appreciative. Abraham in the comic is a very um, appreciative guy." Towards the group, he's he he loves he not loves at the group. first not at first like with what how he was with Glenn in the yes. fourth season he wasn't appreciative but now they're like a big Rosita I think it was either Rosita or Tara that says we're all a big family yeah now because Eugene I think wanted to uh, leave but he if Eugene tells Tara that, that he sabotaged he, the bus to well that's crash. after he was watching Rosita and and Abraham Abraham bang. <laughs> And but they all he, know that he's doing it, and he's letting him do it. And I felt so bad. My heart went out for Eugene as what? they were laughing at him. 
and he's not a big deal. He does, it, it, we can. They're just like, look, whatever. he's watching again. Yeah. And they start laughing and then start making is fun of him. Is that a scene? Is that a scene yes. from the comic books? It yes. is, right? Okay, I'm not. I wasn't thinking. Weird. And it, it was just a sad little moment because it's like, oh, why? Would I didn't feel him? bad for Eugene in the sense that I get because I knew it was coming. Yeah, I knew what he was going to. They also kind of spoiled it for themselves. How they they announced that they were gonna have him and uh, the guy who plays Abraham on the Talking Dead. Yes, I kind of figured the whole reveal was gonna come up. But of we're not happened. there yet. I know, I know, I know. So then <laughs> they discussed that they should stay the night or stay another day. Abraham's like, "Fuck no, we're not gonna stay yeah. a day." He's like, "We need to get to DC." And they find the fire truck, and my best, the best scene in the episode with Eugene happens on the fucking fire truck. He's, He's blasting the them with the water, shooting their heads, limbs off, and what made it even better was Abraham goes on top of the truck to get the um pieces out of the air vent and he stands up there and just starts laughing and they pan out and they show you it says um on the ground it says they're sick inside let them die and he starts laughing he's like it's all oh, come fucked on. up <laughs> it's so fucked up and, and then eugene grabs a book from uh the library which i thought was kind of it's it's um it's an hg wells book i forget the name of it but it kind of goes along with the episode yeah. and then him and maggie have a little uh kind of where bond. she says that i know why you do have your hairstyle with the mullet it's because you want to be known. Yes. You don't want to be like everyone else. You know if you get it cut, you won't be like everyone else. You won't have that you factor. Yeah. You are singling out. Exactly. And people won't protect you as much as exactly. you are protected right now. So it, it was a very sweet moment between yeah. them two. And, and she, then, gives, she tells him the whole thing about the guy with the bees in yeah, the park. Yeah, that was a weird story, yeah. but... kind of um, add, It kind of adds to what Eugene was holding in yeah. by himself. But then they... They start walking and they see a town literally overrun with, with zombies. zombies. It's a great like, visual. I love that. Scene. Everyone goes, "All right, we're gonna leave now." Abraham's, Abraham's like, "Nope, like, no, we, we can make it." <laughs> there's what three hundred, three hundred. We can, we can make do it. it. He's like, "We'll just zigzag basically yeah. around them." Serpentine we'll maneuver. Yeah, and then the big reveal is the and episode. Then everyone starts fighting, and Eugene actually gets hit in that. He gets shoved. Well, because Abraham's, Ab Abraham's grabbing him, and he's like, get off me, get yeah, off me. and it scares and, him, and, and then like, he goes, I, I'm not a scientist. And everyone's like, what? And he goes, I'm not a, I'm not a scientist. I'm I'm a very smart man. I know more than you. I'm a, I'm smarter than you, and I'm a very good liar. liar. But, which is in the comic books, word for word, he says it, yes, which is awesome. But I'm not a scientist. Which basically says there's no cure. Exactly. And he's been, and he's been lying to Abraham the, the entire one time. One part that I loved was the flashback, flashback yep. where he's laying there and he gets up and he turns and goes, Eileen? And she's not there. Or Ellen. Yeah, whatever. Ellen or Eileen. Eileen yeah. It's something like that. And there's a note that says, Don't um, come looking, don't for, us. Come looking yes. for us. So he goes outside and then it goes to some more Morty. right normal stuff. Yeah. And then it comes back to the flashback. And he's got a gun. And he's on the ground crying because he looks and literally, I kid you not, this had to have been 10 feet outside of that door. Yeah. They didn't get anywhere. Yeah, they died. It's kind of like the whole thing with Rick and the group not getting anywhere out of Atlanta. Yeah. So Still then he, goes, about he that. pulls a gun and goes to put it and blow his brains out. And, and Eugene see, comes yeah. over and he's like, help, help. And he, he's not even running. He's, he's like waddling. waddling. He's like, hey, hey can you help? help? Can you kill Abraham, this guy? though, was just, he just pulls his knife out, grabs it by the throat, stab, grabs the other one, stab, grabs the other one, stab, and then, and then walks away. Then you find out and Eugene says, and he's I, like, I'm I, a very important I man. need to get to D.C. And, but, I think... Dan? Yeah? Me and Mom are running out. Okay. <laughs> Two weeks in a row. He can out. Yeah, I know. Um... <laughs> okay. And then, uh, ba I like, um, the, I was reading up on this, how they, uh, basically put Abraham at fault too. Mm-hmm. Because he basically used he followed Eugene... followed him blindly. ...to get away from the fact that his, his family was Yes. Dead. And he, basically, when he... Beats the shit out of Eugene for revealing it. He's kind of like hurting himself oh, that, too. That's something we didn't mention. Yeah. He literally punches him in the face, and then Eugene's like, "All right, I think I just." He got punches punched him in the again, face. and then he wails him again. And Eugene and then he, falls. No, no, no. And then Glenn grabs him, and he's like, "Stop!" And then he gets him one last time. And then Eugene he falls. Hits the fire truck and falls flat on his face. Did you hear something like smash when he hit on the ground? Because I heard something like like it was his face. Like, yeah, like that. So they might have killed him no. off. You don't know that. They he might have been killed. I don't think he will. Cause they can't he, kill him. He's a big character in the comics. Exactly. And everything. Cool. <laughs> um. Yeah. That's another interruption. Thank you. I'll throw in some elevator music. Please do. Um. Sorry about that, guys. But that's the end of the episode. We where had a lot of technical difficulties. We did. Episode. I don't understand it. Well, we'll try to fix it. Three, for you. three is usually a bad number anyway. Yeah. So uh, that's why Valve doesn't do it. 
That's why the the video didn't didn't record all the way. You didn't burp in this episode. Yes, it did. You just did. No, I burped. Did you the burp beginning. earlier? Yes. I didn't see it. Yeah, it's when you were reading the list. Oh, okay. Yeah. Trust me. Well, I, I thought I thought Hocus Pocus was not going to work. I burp every <laughs> episode. Um, but yeah. So remember to like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to this channel, share our videos, share our videos. Please do. Yes. Thank you, Mary, um, for sharing our last video. Yes, thank you. And we'll shout out some money next video. <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, thank you so much for yeah, watching seriously, us. Seriously, it, it means a lot. It does. We work. just don't want to be two idiots talking to a camera or talking to nobody. Yeah. We mean, actually have people as, watching. So. As long as there's someone out there watching. We then, will be here. Yeah. Then we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Yes. So, and we'll be back Friday with another video game we have up. Yeah. So is. remember, uh, have a good one. You do. We'll see you next week for and another comic book mania. Exactly. So, Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Can you keep that in there? No.